morning, the government shutdown caused delays at some of the country's major airports. The FAA said that they experienced a slight increase in air traffic controllers calling out sick at two facilities. The controllers are part of the thousands of federal workers who have been working without pay as a result of the sick calls. There were delays at airports in New York, New Jersey, Philadelphia, and Tampa. Sarah Nelson is the president of the Association of Flight Attendants, and she joins me now from Washington. So, Sarah, what's your reaction to what happened this morning at the airports? Well, <laughs> listen, this shutdown pushed people to their breaking point, and this never should have happened. This is twice as long as any shutdown in our history. And there's a reason for that, because federal workers are not these faceless bureaucrats. There are people who do real work that keep our country running, that keep us safe. These air traffic controllers, for example, um, are a representation of the 800,000 people uh, who were either locked out of work or forced to come to work without pay. And they were pushed to their breaking point. Uh, let, we need to really focus on the human impact here, that what we did, what this country did, was lock out almost a million people, put them in uh, under incredible stress of not knowing when this would end, why they were pawns in this uh, political brinksmanship. And this has never happened before. No one could ever plan for this. And they hit their breaking point. And that's what we said. That's what we've been warning of, is that these, these are people. These are people in high-stress jobs who have to get it right 100 percent of the time. And they proved to us that they are going to keep us safe. This was their breaking point. They said, we are broken. We are fatigued. We are worried. We are starting to make mistakes. We can't concentrate at work because we're worried about our families at home. And we don't know how this is going to end. And they said, we cannot come and ensure that we can do our job safely. That's can, what we got to here. I can tell it's emotional for you. It's extremely emotional. You know, this is uh, not something that any other country in this world would ever accept that you would put people through this, this kind of experience. And it, what we have to recognize, too, is that we have to have a real conversation about the labor laws in this country. There are people who expressed absolute uh, dumbfoundedness that we could actually force people to come to work without pay. We thought that went out with the 13th Amendment. It's, it's actually unbelievable that that happened in this country. And so I want to make sure that we're talking about the fact that this can never happen again. This can't happen in 21 days. It can't even be a thought. These people cannot be used as pawns. Their destiny is our destiny, as Dr. King would say. And we are tied together. And this country doesn't work. It does not work without the federal workers who keep us safe, keep the country running. And we know that very well as flight attendants who depend on them. When they can't do their job, we can't do ours. And we knew that this was about our jobs as well. Do you think that these airport workers who called out sick today could be part of the reason why the president chose to reopen the government? Well, we always knew that when people understood how this was going to affect them, that we would hit the tipping point and we would get some sense of, uh, of um, responsibility here. And um, there was enough pressure uh, that was placed when uh, people started to think about our air transportation system going down and what kind of impact that will have in every community across America and how that will affect our economy. And maybe that is what made people finally sit up and take notice. It wasn't enough that a million people were put through hell for the last month or more. But now we understand that that's what happened, and now we have to fix it and make sure this never happens again. Have you spoken to some of the people that you represent, those FAA workers, like the air traffic controllers? What are they saying, and what's been their reaction to President Trump announcing he's reopening the government? You know, they're telling us this morning that they're so exhausted. So, um, you know, they're glad that this is over. But um, they're just really too tired to even have any emotions other than a sigh of relief that it's over. But now they've got to clean up from what they've experienced over the last month. And they've still got bill collectors calling them and missed payments and um, people missed mortgage payments. And they've got to put their lives back together. Um, so while they're expressing relief, uh, there's still a lot of angst about how they're going to do that and whether or not they're going to be used as political pawns again. Sarah, you're president of the Flight Attendants Association, but I see that this isn't just a position for you. You are so vested in this, in the people. I can see just how it affects you. 
Well, look, I mean, yeah, I do this because I really am proud of the people that I work with, um, and I, I feel very strongly about our careers and what we contribute to the country. Uh, we have more access to the public than almost any other workforce, and I know that we can be a big part of setting a tone in this country. Uh, and, and I really care about these people who care so much uh, about the people in their care every day. And that's, that's who we are, and um, that's, that's just who we'll always be. And for, in this moment in time, this was also about making sure uh, that our friends who died on 9-11 uh, were not forgotten, and that we were not repeating uh, something senselessly that could put us in the same position. And so this was personal to us, and we are on a mission to make sure that that never happens again. I can see why it's so emotional. Sarah Nelson, I'm grateful for your time, and thank you for joining us. Thank you.